Do you wanna grow microgreens but are overwhelmed by all the different varieties that you can grow? By the end of this video, you're gonna know the top four varieties that I recommend when first starting out. For the best microgreens content, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell, that way you get notified every time I release a new video every Tuesday. My microgreens business is over three years old now and I'm still growing the same four varieties I always have been. There's a reason why I grow these varieties and why I was able to find so much business success growing them. They're relatively easy to grow and my customers love them. All microgreens contain concentrated nutrition, so these are all gonna do wonders for your health. But the last one that I mentioned is especially healthy. Whether you're growing microgreens for personal use or trying to figure out which varieties to grow for your business, I'm gonna show you exactly why these varieties are the best ones to start with. First up is pea microgreens. These are probably my all time favorite to grow. They're super easy, they never give me any problems, and they're actually the fastest to harvest out of all of these varieties. Pea microgreens tend to have higher yields, and the variety that I use is dun pea. There's a bunch of different varieties you can use for different purposes, like there's green peas that have tendrils, which are great for chefs. So try out the different pea varieties and see which ones that you like best and the ones that fit your needs the best. The taste is sweet, like sweet peas, and these are also a really good variety for juicing. Next up is radish microgreens. Just like the pea microgreens, these are very easy to grow and are resistant to overwatering, making both of these varieties great options to start with. The variety of radish that I use is called China Rose because they have these beautiful pink stems that really stand out. This is definitely my flashiest variety and the most visually appealing. The flavor is spicy and they really pack a punch when you eat them on their own. When mixed with other foods, they tend to taste a little bit more mild, so they're a great option for salads and sandwiches, soups, really anything else that you wanna add these microgreens to. Comment below and let me know what microgreens you first started with, or if you haven't grown microgreens before, let me know which varieties you're thinking about growing first. Next up is sunflower microgreens. These can be a little bit trickier to grow, especially because the seeds on the market are inconsistent. And this variety also requires a little bit more maintenance than the other two varieties I mentioned already. Nevertheless, these are a really rewarding variety to grow if you are up to the challenge. The seed variety to use is called black oil. I find that the bigger the seeds that you get, the better the plants are gonna turn out with those seeds. These sunflower microgreens are actually one of the most popular microgreen varieties in the health niche. Sunflower shoots have a mild and slightly nutty flavor, and these microgreens are actually really high in protein and contain elevated probiotics. These are also a really good microgreen variety for juicing, just like the pea. Next up is broccoli microgreens. These are relatively easy to grow, just like the first two varieties, but are a little bit more vulnerable to overwatering. So just be careful not to overwater, otherwise you can create an environment that's prone to mold growth. These are the healthiest variety of all the microgreens and contain a nutrient density of 40 times that of the adult broccoli plant. It also contains a concentrated form of the phytochemical sulforaphane, which does a multitude of great things for your body. I recommend looking that one up. Now you know the best four microgreens to grow first, but what if you wanna see what other people are growing? Join my microgreen support group on Facebook so you can connect with other growers and see what interesting varieties they chose to grow. I'll put the link below in the description and I'll see you in there. Check out this video on how to harvest your microgreens after you've grown them, and this video if you wanna see exactly how I grow my microgreens. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like below, follow my YouTube channel, and share this video with your friends. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.